season. So I'm allowed to spend a little bit of money. I shouldn't be, but a little bit. <laughs> so this will be a mini haul, very short, very quick, but look, <laughs> I got a Johnny set at Target. <laughs> um, usually I like my clothes big and baggy. This is a little tighter than I would normally wear, but the largest size I had was an extra large. I would usually probably go for a 2X. It fits, but I don't like my clothes clingy. <laughs> now this was a little more on the pricey side. This was, um, yes, I still have the tag on, $27.99, which is usually more than I would ever pay for pajamas, but look, it's vintage Halloween. I love it. <laughs> I went to two different Targets uh, to buy the only one extra large on the rack. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to go out and grab it because uh, there was only maybe five sets on the rack and only one was extra large. So I knew I had to snatch them up as quickly as possible. So I got two of those. <laughs> they are very soft, they're very thin, but they're very comfy and they're vintage Halloween. <laughs> All right, so also at Target, I got Joseph a little birthday, belated birthday gift, uh, cause I did not find anything for him ahead of time, sorry. But, um, not exactly Halloween, but kind of. <laughs> it's a little uh, gramophone that you set your cell phone in and it projects the music. He's looked at things like this before and it kind of gives it a tinny, like, old-timey sound. So, um, this wasn't too expensive. I don't remember how much it was, but uh, he's been looking at them and I saw it and I'm like... Mm, yeah, <laughs> I want to say maybe, maybe it was like 12 bucks. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have said that because he probably will see the video. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I spent an arm and a leg on you, dear. I, I love you and uh, my wallet in love has no bounds. <laughs> See if I have the receipts hiding. No, I do not. Sorry. I'll have to check on that later. I'll put price here. Okay. Moving on. Um, I think those are the only things I got at Target. Um, I also went to Ross because I saw other people's videos and I tracked some things down. Super exciting. So, of course, I had to get the bat wall hanger knocker um, I think it is made of metal but um, they are kind of fragile because I saw a couple broken ones in the store it's only $4.99 I couldn't resist I'm uh, going to have a large pantry built for my kitchen because I don't have enough uh, cabinet space and I thought these would be perfect door pools for my huge pantry doors so I'm excited about that <laughs> so I got two of those so I have one for each door so I can pull it and of course I also saw everyone with their hanging three bats again I think they're metal but sorry air conditioner kicking on it's a little warm today <laughs> this was a uh, $8.99 it's three bats on a chain. I would have gotten two of those, but there were only two on the rack and uh, the other one was broken up. So they are actually kind of fragile, even though I think, I think they're metal. They feel like metal, they sound like metal, but the other ones were broken. I almost wanted to ask if I could get it discounted and save the one good bat, but I don't know. The workers didn't seem like they were in the mood. <laughs> so I didn't bother. Uh, I also went to Michael's. Uh, I was excited seeing everyone's hauls from Michael's and uh, I don't know, a lot of the stuff is cute but none of it was really, oh my god, I have to have it right now. So the one thing I did get was this uh, upside down hanging bat who's kind of looking over to the side. <laughs> I got him because I've always wanted the taxidermy bat in like the lantern or the terrarium that's hanging there 
and I don't want a real taxidermy that. Not because it skews me out or anything, but because I kind of feel bad that there's no way for me to really research whether it was ethically, I don't want to say harvested, but <laughs> acquired. So I kind of feel bad, so rubber will do for now. I think he's cute. He's a good size. Um, of course, I used a coupon on him. He was originally 14. So I got him for 40% off, I think I had. So it wasn't that bad. <laughs> um, okay, also at Ross, I got these hand towels because they're very pretty. <laughs> these were $4.99 as well. And I usually don't get this kind because they're not like very absorbent. And I actually dry my hands on my hand towels, go figure. <laughs> I mean, the, the inside of it is kind of like a terry cloth, but it's a very dense terry cloth, so it's not very absorbent, but it was just so pretty, and it wasn't specifically Halloween, so I could keep it in the kitchen all year. Not that I have a problem with keeping Halloween all year. <laughs> so I got those. I probably shouldn't have wasted the money, but, you know, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I also got the fleece blanket with the snakes on it. I couldn't resist. It's so pretty. It's so, oh my god, it's so soft. It's so soft. I love it. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I told you before. I'm a geek. Okay, so I got that. They actually left the hanger on. I'm surprised. That was $9.99. So it wasn't, it wasn't bad. I don't know. Ross's prices were actually really good. <laughs> and one more thing from Ross, I got two of these because I, I'm, I don't know, I'm obsessed with this shade of green and then I saw these and it was $3.99. There's two on the shelf, I grabbed both, but it's a soup cup and it says Creepy Eats. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I was just imagining myself going to my new job, wherever that will be, with a little bowl of soup that says creepy eats. I mean, <laughs> just the thought of it, okay? <laughs> but it has the clear plastic lid with the vent so you can microwave it and not get it all over your, your microwave. But, <laughs> and plus, whenever I microwave anything at work, which I used to not at all, but I kinda, I had to kinda get with the times because I, you just think of all the people that microwave their food. It hardly ever gets cleaned. And it's nasty. So I always drape a paper towel over the top and on the bottom just so it's not actually coming into contact with the microwave or anything in it. But <laughs> having the lid with the vent is nice because then I don't have to put the paper towel over the top and waste a paper towel. So I don't know. Am I overthinking this? Does anyone else have a problem using the company microwave? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so I got two of those. I, I could not resist. They were really cute. <laughs> um, my uh, home goods doesn't have a whole lot out yet. So I went there and uh, I did get a coffee mug. It says, hey boo, that's a little ghost. That was $3.99. So again, I'm, I'm not it all adds up, I know, but I'm not like breaking the bank just yet. I still have two months to go until Halloween. And like I said, most of my stores don't have stuff out yet. I, everyone's reporting their stores and their hauls and I'm like, my Target is still back to school. My Dollar Tree is still back to school. Like, yeah. The, <laughs> the Lowe's by me does have some stuff out. They got more since the last time I went, which was only a week ago. And then yesterday I went to Home Depot to buy some spray paint and they were full on setting up their Halloween, but <laughs> they had it like cordoned off. Like they had all their boxes like in a big circle around the space and they had like five or six workers unpacking and setting things up. So you couldn't actually get to them. So I took a quick peek and I couldn't really get in there yet. So I'm excited to go back, but 
most of the stores around me don't have anything. And usually, I, I feel like they set up a week before Halloween and then it's already down the day after Halloween. And it really annoys me because everyone else is posting, oh, we have all our stuff out and they're already doing their hauls and walkthroughs and I'm like, I have nothing. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> I know, I'm rambling. All right, just a couple more things. Okay, so my Dollar Trees aren't fully set up, but they had little bits. So they had um, these little wood cutouts. They have little stickers on them so you can stick things, stick them to things, I should say. Sorry, they're kind of falling around. But they only had one of these on the hook and I'm like, mine? But I, uh, I haven't been able to find it at any of the other Dollar Trees yet because they're not set up yet. So <laughs> I thought these were really cute. I mean, the jack-o'-lanterns and the bats for sure, especially the bats, I could put on some furniture and stuff and have cute little designs, but I definitely want to keep my eye out to get more of those. For a dollar? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, and of course, I'm a crazy cat lady. My cat doesn't play with anything I buy her, but I still buy them. Okay, so TJ Maxx, they had some stuff out. Nothing I was really that impressed with, but they did have these. <laughs> it's, it's the little, it has a scratching thing and the little balls, a black and an orange ball that you, well, your cat gets around. They have it in orange, and of course I bought both colors. And they also have it in purple. It comes with a little bag of catnip. And these were only $4.99. So I'm like, you know, my cat is usually too stupid to play with these. I'm sorry, Puka. She is. She's, she's too stupid to play with these. Because she doesn't realize <laughs> that she has to go in here to get the ball. She keeps looking at the side or the one that's hollow in the center. She looks in the center instead of where the balls are. <laughs> and she just, you, you can see the mathematics going in her head as she's trying to figure it out, but she never does figure it out. <laughs> All right, one more thing, and then we're done. I know it's a very short video, but um, Pier 1, I, I went through Pier 1. I recorded it, but I don't know if anyone just wants to see, like, shelves. Uh, I didn't really get to do any commentary because... Uh, the workers were kind of watching me. They didn't say anything, but they were like kind of watching me and I felt really awkward. So I could do a voiceover, but I don't know if it would be entertaining or not. But um, I got this doormat. I, um, the past doormats I had uh, were that, that um, straw kind of doormat with like a printed kind of picture on it. But I find like that gets worn down in I don't know, the dirt kind of obscures the picture on it, and I, I, I feel like I have to replace it every couple months because it just doesn't keep its structure or a picture. So um, I got a, a um, ironwork looking mat like this. It's the black rubber, and that's holding up well. And it still, it knocks the dirt off your shoes, which is what it's meant to do, so. Uh, <laughs> and there is a lot of dust in here with the construction and and uh, remodels going on. There's there's a lot of dust and uh, sawdust and speckling dust and yeah, so there's dust everywhere. So we need the doormat. <laughs> but for the Halloween season, I do have the spider web and it has a spider and it's grabbing my hair. <laughs> this was only $19.99. 20 bucks. It will last like forever. So I don't feel as bad. Really, I don't. I feel a little bad, but <laughs> it's useful. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> that is my mini haul. Uh, I'm just about out of time. I have to go pick Joseph up, but um, favorite thing, I love it all. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have a favorite thing. I mean, the, the jammies, they were like an amazing find. Like, I was not expecting that. And my, like I said, my Target doesn't have much Halloween out at all, but they had the pajamas out. <laughs> so uh, that was a little confusing. And I, I was wandering around the store all disappointed. And I'm like, oh, 
and I'm going back up to the door to leave and then I catch out of the corner of my eye orange and black and oh my god are those it's Halloween jammies <laughs> so okay that was probably the biggest surprise um next favorite I love the bat hanger I love the I love the creepy eats I don't I don't know I love it all <laughs> I can't pick a favorite <laughs> All right, thanks for watching again. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too boring. It's a quick one. Uh, I was really busy this week. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'll try harder next time. <laughs> thanks for watching.